Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Ashley with your news to you, Tom, today. I hope that you are doing well. The We are getting ready for our very last week together um, of our normal instruction. Over the summer, we're going to offer um, a couple of supplemental activities, so if you would like to do those, you're welcome to. But this will be our very last week of doing regular videos um, and giving information and activities online. So this week we're talking about 2020 graduation ceremonies. So this is the year 2020. Um, so today, um, on Monday, we're going to do a couple of activities. We're going to do our vocabulary. So we're going to learn four new vocabulary words. And then we will do our main news article. And we'll follow up with a vocabulary activity. So all of this information is under the files section of the unit about 2020 graduations. So if you'd like to pull up any of this information, it's there for you. All right, so four vocabulary words. Are you ready? This word is seniors. So I'm sure that you've heard in the news about seniors graduating. And a senior is somebody in, that is in their very last year of school. So somebody is a senior if they are getting ready to graduate and leave that school. So the seniors in our elementary school were our fifth graders. So they were getting ready to move up. Um, the seniors at our high school are normally in 12th grade. Sometimes they've been there a little bit longer um, and maybe getting some other kind of degrees. But the seniors are those typically in 12th grade, that are getting ready to graduate, um, especially high school. So the next word is graduate. And what does that mean? Well, to graduate means that you are finished with everything at school and you're getting ready to leave school and do something else. So usually when people graduate, they're getting ready to go to either a college or university or they're getting ready to start work and start doing a job. So graduate means um, usually get a diploma or a certificate saying that you're finished with school and you're done. You're done with school. So this word is already up on our word wall and it is the word school. The word school. And you guys know what a school is, even though we haven't been able to go physically in a while. School is the building where teachers and students come together to learn. And then we have the word celebrate. So we've had a lot of different little celebrations going on at the end of the year. But to celebrate something means that um, you're excited and you do something to express that assignment. So you may celebrate a birthday by having a party or a cake. You may celebrate a graduation by having a ceremony or maybe having a party. Or you can celebrate little things like we celebrate when you guys do really cool stuff like meeting one of your goals or, or learning something new at school. We celebrate. It's a happy time. So seniors graduate school and celebrate. And you can tell how these kind of look um, a lot alike because when you graduate, you, you celebrate, right? Okay, so we are going to go and read our main news article today. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that we can see it. All right. 2020 graduation ceremony. So we've talked a lot about this year, 2020 or 2020. We've been talking about it um, during our calendar time um, and when we write our date. So the school year is ending. It's getting ready to be done with this year, and, and we knew that. Seniors are graduating from schools. They may graduate from high schools or colleges. 
graduation ceremonies are usually in May or June. Have you seen this icon when we've been doing our calendar time? Yeah, it's May. We have been talking about it all month last month. And today you learned about this icon. June. It was brand new. We went over it during our calendar time today. So I'm going to share with you a little website. And it's an article from USA Today. And it says, Proms, Graduations, and Birthdays Adapt During Coronavirus. We've talked about the word adapt, which means just to do things differently. You just have to do what you have to do. So if you'd like to read this article, I'm going to show you a couple pictures. This is kind of what some graduation ceremonies have been looking like. These are drive through graduation. You may have seen some pictures from our high school graduation. Um, there's somebody wearing a mask. That's normally not what the mask, um, usually this is what the mask looks like that um, you see people wearing. Here's some people sitting in the trunk of their car. So normally graduation ceremonies um, are people get together in like a big gym or outside and a bunch of people celebrate these different graduates. But you see how it's a little bit different this year. So these, are lined, these graduates are lined up near their car and people are watching while they're in their car and they're standing away from each other. This one, the principal's handing out diploma during drive through graduation at um, a motor speedway. This one, um, it looks like different graduates, their faces are displayed on tablets, and they just have these little, like, robots set up that are, that are driving around. I'm not seeing that one yet. That one's new. Oh, oh, look, this looks like our Panthers icon. Oh, I love that. So, look, there's a picture of the senior and then um, her class, and she's got a mask. Here is a graduation ceremony where people are set far apart in, like, this stadium, and then all the graduates are down here, and they're spread far apart, and then there's their stage. So here's um, some pictures and videos that people are taking um, during like a, um, let's see, put up decorations on her front lawn for graduation. So that was, this was at her house, it looks like. There's some more like um, senior pictures or prom pictures being taken because a lot of these seniors didn't get to go to prom either. So if you want to take a look at this, you can take a look. There's there's lots of pictures um, about how different people are celebrating graduation. I know um, there was a high school in Tennessee that was celebrating. Oh, look at that. So it looks like our icon for celebration. Um, oh, and they had a parade. And you may have noticed downtown that, or uptown, whatever you want to call it, in Merriam, they have some banners hanging for some of our seniors. Um, so, look, I didn't even get through half of that. So if you want to look at that, take a look at it. There's some really cool pictures there. Um, and what I was telling you was in Tennessee, I know that they did a high school graduation at the drive-in movie theater, which I thought was kind of cool. Okay. Let's keep going. All right, so graduation ceremonies will be different in 2020. We know that. They look a lot different. People cannot gather because of the coronavirus. That's why we haven't been together lately. They cannot gather for graduation ceremonies, but seniors have worked very hard because remember seniors are those that are getting ready to finish school so they've been working really hard at school schools still want to celebrate the seniors okay so as i'm going through this i want you to to take a look again remember i'm doing the reading direction left to right and then all of these sentences so far have ended with a period we've talked about that stop in our sentence before we go on to a next sentence so just pay attention to that. Some schools are having ceremonies online. So like we're doing these videos, people are watching them on, on their computers. Seniors can wear caps and gowns. 
They can join special video calls. School leaders say the names of the seniors. Some seniors give speeches. We've talked about that word, speeches. Some schools will have ceremonies in the future. That means they'll do it later. They're not doing it right now. They're going to wait. The schools hope to have ceremonies during the summer. They hope people can gather then. Schools hope the seniors can be together for ceremonies. They want the seniors to celebrate together. So they want them to be able to celebrate with their friends. Most ceremonies have special speakers. And we've talked about those podiums and people giving speeches. The speakers give speeches to the seniors. So those speakers may be a city leader, an author, an athlete, and more. So usually the people that give those speeches are people from the community that, um, that are successful or have something to say to the seniors. Many speakers give speeches about the future because these people that are graduating, their next step is to go on to do something else. Okay. Famous people recorded speeches for seniors this year because they didn't get to have the ceremonies like they normally do. The famous people include singer John Legend, soccer player, Abby Wambach, and journalist Katie Couric. The speeches are on a podcast. Seniors can listen to the speeches on the podcast. Now I want to I want you to I want to point out something to you. We've talked about this before. You see that little star that's right up there at the end of the sentence? That's called an asterisk, and that means there's something else that we need to look at. It's kind of like our important icon. There's something there that's important. We need to look. So we go down here and see this other asterisk. And it says the speeches are on a podcast. And there's an asterisk. And it said the podcast is called Commencement. Speeches for the Class of 2020. So if you'd like to go listen to that podcast, it gave you the title. All right, look, do you remember what this is called? It's an exclamation point. And we've talked about how if something ends in an exclamation point, it's really important. It's very exciting. We need to say it with excitement. So graduation is exciting! Exclamation point. You see how I read that? Many cities are helping, ooh, we've had that word, seniors celebrate. Some cities are having car parades. That's what we did for our fifth graders. All of you fifth graders. Seniors drive cars through their cities. And people can stand in their yards and cheer. Show me your best cheer. Yay! Woo! Way to go! Many seniors are graduating in 2020. Seniors have different plans after graduating. They may go to new schools. They may start new jobs. Congratulations, seniors. So there's another exclamation point. So tomorrow we're going to read some more about our person in the news, or our people in the news, and it's seniors. We're going to learn some more about them. Our place in the news is schools. We've already had schools as a place in the news, but we'll learn some more about that tomorrow. Um, our... Recipe this week is for a senior slushy. We may have to make this. We've been doing lots of smoothies at my house um, over the last um, several weeks for breakfast or for kind of a healthy snack. And so we may do this together this week. We'll see. But it's strawberries, honey, vanilla, and ice in a blender. Yeah. We've made smoothies before in our class. I'll tell you a joke later on this week.
Okay, so let's really quick take a look at our vocabulary and again these are in the files if you would like to print those and do them. Uh, we have the words, this is our color and label. We have the words gown, cap, and school. So when seniors graduate, they wear something called a cap and a gown, and then they, they're graduating from school. So let's take this last word, school. Which one of these is a school? That one, that one, or that one? That one's the school. Okay? And so we try to get as close as we can to match up those shapes. Yeah. It's close enough. All right, so which one of these do you think would be a gown? Which one do you think would be a gown? So think about a gown like um, sometimes little girls may sleep in a nightgown, or sometimes ladies do sleep in a nightgown, um, or sometimes even my little boy slept in a gown when he was a baby. I have little baby gowns. Um, think about women who get married, may have a wedding gown. They may wear a gown to prom. Okay, so a gown is kind of a funny word. It's kind of like a long um, garment of clothing. So this is a gown. And then a cap is just like a ball cap is something that goes on your head. So that is a picture of a cap. And then if you would like to do the definition matching, I'm sure I'm going over time. I don't know what our time is. It doesn't tell me when I do it this way. It's okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to match vocabulary words and definitions. Sorry about that. Okay, so here are our four vocabulary words. Seniors, graduate, school, and celebrate. So which one of these is a place where students learn? A place where students learn. Which one of these is a place where students learn? Which one of these is a place at all? The school. A school is a place where students learn. Okay. Which one of these seniors graduate or celebrate is to successfully complete school and receive a diploma? So when you're done with school, you've completed it, you're done. Is that seniors graduate or celebrate? It's graduate. To graduate means that you're done with school, you've successfully completed school, and you have a diploma or a certificate of completion of school. To do something special to honor a person or event, is that seniors or celebrate? When you do something special to honor a person or an event, it's celebrate. Celebrate good times. Come on. And then seniors, that's our last one, are students in their last year of high school or college. So the seniors are the ones that this is their very last year and they're getting ready to graduate. So guys, I'm excited about this theme this week. I'm sad that we're not spending our last week of school together because I miss you more than you would ever know. Um... But we're going to try to make this last week fun and educational, and we cannot wait to see you again. So we are thankful for our 2020 graduates that are graduating this year and graduation ceremonies that are happening. Um, but we cannot wait to see you again. So I'll talk to you in just a little bit for some enrichment time. Bye, guys.